What's it gonna take for people to wake up? The B system is shaping up right in front of our eyes and most Christians are too blind to see it. They don't wanna see it. Uh, it's so clear to me. I don't wanna say that, you know, you can't, there's no way you could be a Christian and look at what's going on in the world and not see it. If you don't see it, it's because you don't wanna see it. The Bible clearly says that the Antichrist will have the power to control who buys and sells and you'll have to have a mark in your hand are in your forehead and if you don't have this mark you won't be able to buy or sell we just see now in new york what do they do they say look if you don't show this vaccination card you're not going to be able to come into the store you're not going to be able to come in the gym it's happening i gotta sound the fire alarm and let you know it's time to wake up man you can't be casual look how we moved into a cashless society almost everything is going to be on a chip eventually they're going to want to put that chip in you people are already taking chips look at these Amazon stores where you can go in, you don't need cash, everything goes through your phone. Eventually gonna take all of that stuff and put it inside of you. We're literally this everything the Bible said, we're moving towards it. I'm trying to caution you. Wake up or you wanna slip. We're moving down that corridor. It ain't looking good. It's like we're on that elevator. Are you gonna go up? Or are you gonna go down on judgment day? You better be praying, you better be watching. There's so much stuff going on. It's clear as day that the Bible is the truth and it wasn't telling a lie. The doors are getting ready to open. So please understand what the spirit of the Antichrist is. It's anything that goes against God's order, his will. He said a man's a man. He said a woman's a woman. That's his order. So anything that goes against that would be the spirit of the Antichrist. That's the best way for you to uh, understand it. So when you look out in the world and you see anything that's going against opposite of what the word says that's the spirit of the antichrist that's what you're fighting against we wrestle not against flesh and blood it's spirits behind every evil and wicked thing you see in america in particular we've opened the door to a lot of things and all kinds of stuff is coming out but here's the good news no matter how evil the world gets no matter how bad it gets no matter how many jezebels and ahabs and pharaohs there are god always has a voice so the worse that it gets, the more the church is going to increase in power and we're going to have revival. But let, guess what? Casual Christians are going to be casualties. You got to be reading your Bible. You got to be praying. You got to be spending real time with God. It can't be religion. It's got to be a relationship. Listen to what I'm telling you. Stop. Really listen to what I'm telling you. This is a, this is a warning that all that lukewarm one foot in the world one foot in the church trying to be accepted by the world that's not going to work in these end times that gray area where a lot of christians have been existing is about to shrink god ain't playing no games all right because as the end draws near he's going to look for people the bible says the earth is literally groaning for the sons and daughters to manifest and just stand up stand up stand up a lot of people are bowing down who's going to stand Who's going to stand up and speak the truth? The Bible says, how would they hear without a preacher? Who's going to stand up and say, right is right, wrong is wrong, sin is sin, Jesus is God, Jesus is the way, there is no other way. Who, who's going to stand up? Because it's crazy out here. And then the Bible also talks about having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. Everybody's a Christian now. And everybody says, you know, they're saved now. And you can't say nothing, you can't correct them with the Bible, because who are you to judge me? You better work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. You better be praying. You better be seeking God. And don't let the move of God pass you by. You don't want to be sitting there just, just you know, oh, da, 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 da. it's no big deal. The Bible said it's going to happen. A lot of people are going to be rocked to sleep. And they're going to see what's happening. And they're going to say, man, it's no big deal. It is a big deal. People say, oh, it's just entertainment. Oh, let people live their life. Let them do what they want to do. So you see what happened in New York? They're checking that card. We're moving, man. We're on the train. Choo, choo. And it's moving whether you like it or not. Some people don't want to admit we're living in the end times. But that thing is rolling. And I hope you're ready. Last thing I'll say. Remember, the Bible said the spirit of the Antichrist is already in the world. It's already moving in the earth, preparing that way. All right? And so, the spirit is already moving and flowing through entertainment, through music, through TV, trying to prepare people's minds. We got to come against that. The education system, the entertainment, we got to come up with our own schools. We got to come up with our own music. We got to come up with our own everything, kingdom, to combat what's going on in the world, especially for the children, because they after the children. It's crazy. Wake up.